hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we are bringing you the must have app for any Samsung Galaxy smartphone, and that is GoodLock. This is not only for smartphones, it is for foldable devices, it's for tablets, and we will have specific videos for those as the app is slightly different with those. So first thing is, where do you get GoodLock from? Well, typically for most users, you're going to be getting it from the Galaxy Store. You simply type in GoodLock and search for it and hopefully it's there for you. However, I do want to note that it is limited by country. So if your country doesn't have it yet, although Samsung is expanding it, it is basically going to more and more countries every single year. So what makes this so good? Basically, this makes Samsung the most unique version of Android available on the market. It just gives you things that no other Android device does, and it has a superior interface to stock Android, in my opinion. So let's go over the must have features that make this so much better. And then I'll allude to some of the other ones if you want to go more in depth on those yourself. But these are the must have ones. So first off, I have to start with Home Up. The reason why Home Up is so important more than anything else is you can customize your home screens exactly how you want it, which you can kind of do on the built-in version of Samsung. But here you really can do a lot more. You can do so many more customizations, including folder and even back up your home screen. So if for some reason when you did use smart switch and didn't transfer over everything, you can actually retrieve your home screen. So it's exactly the way your last phone was if your phone was a Samsung. So then you have share manager. This is really important to use unless you do YouTube videos because this will basically customize your exact last sharing and the people you share to most often and which app you use to share. It really is great for me. I don't want that showing up on my video, so that's why I don't have it activated, but otherwise this is a very in-depth one that is really good. But why is it the most important app of all time? Well, it's because of Task Changer. So for Task Changer, Home Up allows you to completely change the recent apps button. So most people will have this, which is on regular Android, the worst thing ever. This is a copy of iOS uh, that's complete garbage and it just is the worst way to multitask. So first off, Samsung gives you some customizability with this where you can actually do mini mode, which will bring it closer to lower so you can actually touch with your thumb, very simple and easy, and I think that is helpful. Where it will be easier to touch on the bottom of your screen, so that is really nice and again, more accessible, but there's way better than that. So one, I do like grid. I think this is one that a lot of people could like just because you can jump to multiple things rather quickly. However, you also have the best one ever, which is slim. Now slim is for multitaskers like myself that want to jump to whichever app you need to get to. This one is really great, very productive, and this is the one that I always personally use just to quickly jump to whatever app I need to. Then you have something that I really need at all times, and that is Multistar. Now again, Multistar is really different on a tablet and a foldable, so make sure to subscribe because we will be going over that in future videos. But what this allows for is one, for every single app to be split screen enabled. That's huge because that isn't something you could do on any other version of Android without rooting. So this just makes it every app split screen. You want to split screen Instagram, you go ahead. You want to split screen a game, you go ahead. Whatever you want to do, that's really simple and easy. You also have immersive mode, which means that if you touch something else, say you're playing Netflix on one half of your screen and you're browsing the web on the other half of the screen, Netflix isn't going to suddenly pause. You will keep going even when you're touching another part of the screen. And that of course is so much better. And finally, one that I really love is you can hide the status and the navigation on the top and bottom. This makes it a lot more immersive. You're not just kind of scrunching in everything. You basically lose everything on the sides so that it really is a more immersive type of split screen. Now I myself do not like pop-up views. 
so you can get rid of that. But even the ability to quickly jump between split screen right here as this bottom circle is a really nice ability to kind of just split screen whatever app you want to. And like I said, it is every single app on your phone. For me, over 300. And then we move on to probably one of my favorite and basically I wish Android would truly adopt this because I think Samsung does gestures better than anyone else. And with one handed plus mode on this phone, it really becomes a whole nother level. So first off, I like Android's gestures okay, but Samsung's already is superior to me in terms of back home recent or back home recent. That makes a lot more sense in this like, oh, holding it halfway and slowing the entire process down. It just is so slow in comparison to the buttons that used to be there from back home and recent. But with this, it actually allows it to be quicker. And I do like the immersion, right? I have no buttons here at the bottom anymore. But again, I still like the back, recent, and home capabilities. But what this adds here is more gestures. So I can go to my recent apps by a swipe from the left side, or I can go back by a swipe from the right side. And that is really fun and very easy to use. I can also hold it down and launch my Google Assistant like that. So really simple and easy, and you can customize this however you want. You can also do diagonal versions of this and even add more. For me, I can't get the diagonal really well off, so I just do a straight right and a straight left and a straight right hold and a straight left hold, and that's all I use, and I really love it. Then we go to clock face. Now clock face is one that I love because I love the specialty clock that I use. And that is on always on display or on my lock screen, I like this one the most. So being able to have words instead of the text is really nice, but you have a lot more customization here than you do with the stock versions. This really gives you so many more styles and capabilities and just really cool stuff. Plus you can hit the plus icon and really make your own kind of combination of this. So it really is better. I slightly tweak the stock version of the Word one, but it's just really nice to have that custom look. So when I touch my screen off, it's just a very sleek style of being able to always tell the time, simple and easy. Now you also have Routines Plus, which again, I've done an in-depth part for Routines on the most recent video, of the S21 Ultra, all the tips and tricks. So go ahead and check out that one. Routines is the same and has been upgraded to look like that version. So make sure to go ahead and check out that video to really get a more in depth. But basically Routines is going to let you control things when things happen. So you can basically do an arrow key with an S Pen and it will do whatever you set it to do. You can make it really kind of just whatever you need to. Like when you get home, this, this, and this happens. When you connect to this Wi-Fi or connect to this Bluetooth, this, this, and this happens. It really is great and Routines Plus just adds more to it, especially if you have smart things in your home, which is Samsung smart home capabilities, which talks to so many smart devices that it's ridiculous and it's the, pretty much the best still standard when it comes to smart home automation. So the last one I will go over more in depth is Pentastic. Now this is better on a note than it is with an S Pen, hashtag side pen, hashtag S Pen. Uh, this one is basically not its full capabilities. So you can do things like, you know, change exactly how your air commands are to have them exactly how you want it. Change the icon. And probably best of all for a non-note, being able to double tap the shortcut. So being able to double tap, it's very precise, so you do have to get it just right. 
There you go. And now I screenshot it. I found myself screenshotting a lot. So this was the best one for my usage, but you can have it do lots of different customizations in terms of whatever you really needed to, whether it be launching an app or doing something specific. And finally, there's ones that I don't really use too often that I'll just let you know about. Lockstar, you can really customize how your lock screen is. Quick star customizes your top down navigation, customizes your back home and recent button. If you want to have the buttons there, notification, customize your notifications. You can do lots of fun colors and different things like that. Wonderland really customizes your entire look, especially your wallpapers. Theme park it goes more into the actual theme customization. Key calf will customize your keyboard. Nice catch deals with that thing that I hate, which is when you vibrate, you kind of have a summary of things that happen, but I find it always vibrates and I just hate that. Edge touch, if you really have a case that's not protecting your edges, you can actually minimize the lack of touch on the side. And of course, one that's pretty good uh, that I used to use a lot was Sound Assistant. If you really wanna customize your sound, that will really help you exactly customize it the best way possible. All right, guys, so that was good luck. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. For me, it by far makes Samsung the best Android on the market, just as long as it has unique software like this that no one else does. For me, I love the Task Changer and Home Up. Multi-star, multitasking is just so good and definitely of course one-handed operation plus is the best navigation you can get on android so this really makes it for me the best android operating system on the market just because of these added features that you don't get out of the box with the samsung but that does make it a lot better let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below thank you as always for watching this has been r-i-c-k-y the youtube tech guy Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Also, follow us on social media at YouTube Tech Guy. And check out some more great tech videos on your screen right now.